but those who have been cold, wet, and scared. To the unplanned bivvies. To those who have taken the fall over and over again. To their nurses and doctors. To the mask makers. To the freelancers. The photographers. To the waiters in restaurants. Coffee shops and small business hustlers. To the mountain guides and park rangers. To the athletes with hopes and dreams the climbers, the runners, the skiers and the riders, to the lifers, to our community that has come together by staying apart, to the mothers, fathers and families, to those of us who know that suffering will only make us stronger. We'll see you out there. Did you do it? Cool. Drive it. For me, it's this feeling of there's, there's something more. There's something more to this world than we can see. Those moments of solitude or glimpses of perfection. You can look at the ways that nature actually did come up with these perfect designs. It's like everything in life seems like it has a purpose and a reason. You keep adapting and changing, trying new things. And I feel grounded and present. That moment of singular focus, working with the wall, the rock to get up, it makes me happy. When you have those really profound experiences, how can we use those to live synchronously with nature? It's easier to do it together, to carry each other. To not let fear get in the way. Adapting to the world is important. It's a spiritual experience, and it makes me feel more alive than anything else. My passion for the outdoors started when I was young. I'll never forget my dad taking me out into the forest. He taught me how to pitch a tent and to carry my fair share. I love meeting people from all over the globe and sharing a common joy for the outdoors. It feels like you've known each other for a long time when you share the same passion. And even if you don't see that person for a long time, when you meet again, it feels like it was only yesterday. When you're out in the wild, you can just be you. For me to be truly in contact with nature, I need to sleep outside and carry my own equipment. This is a feeling that I wish everyone could experience so that they have the chance to understand the world and nature around us. See you on the trail. If you think you are beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, 
you don't. If you like to win but think you can't, it's almost a cinch you won't. If you think you'll lose, you're lost. For out in the world we find success begins with a fellow's will. It's all in the state of mind. If you think you're outcast, you are. You've got to think high to rise. You've got to be sure of yourself before you can ever win a prize. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man, but soon or late, the man who wins is the man who thinks he can.